I'm Dr. Greg Munchaw, Director of Agronomy for Mountain View Seeds. The study that you see behind me is a Blue Muda trial that I put in a couple of years ago while a professor at the University of Kentucky. In this trial, I planted 53 different bluegrasses and tall fescues to see is there one or a number of, of grasses that will work as Blue Muda. If you're not familiar with Blue Muda, this is an idea that has been gaining traction in the U.S. since it was first implemented in 2012. It comes down to the fact that in the transitional climatic zone, there are really no grasses that are 100% suited to our climate. Warm season grasses perform well in the summer, but go off color and can be susceptible to winter kill every few years. Cool season grasses do great in the spring and fall, but go downhill in the summer and can be ravaged by disease. In a perfect world, we would have a grass or a system that would be growing and have the ability to recover during the majority of the year. This was the beginnings of Blue Muda. By interceding Kentucky bluegrass into Bermuda grass, we now have a system that can perform well year-round. I began researching Blue Muda in 2015 and have looked at a number of different aspects of growing these grasses together, from establishment and timing to fertility and weed control. One of the questions I've received the most was, is there one bluegrass that will work in Blue Muda or will any bluegrass work? To help answer that question, in the fall of 2018, I planted 53 different cool season grasses into a mature base of Tifway Bermuda grass, including Kentucky bluegrasses, bulbous bluegrasses, and tall fescues in conjunction with a number of seed companies. We also imposed simulated athletic field traffic on the plots in spring and summer to measure traffic tolerance and recovery at different times of the year. This study is mowed at three quarters inches and is receiving three pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet per year. This trial has had six games of simulated traffic on it over a two-week period at the time this video was taken. What I've found from this trial is that although there are a lot of great bluegrasses out there, not all of them are good fits for Blue Muda. In general, the ones that have performed very well tend to be the newer, more aggressive and heat-tolerant varieties that typically have a lighter green color. The midnight types don't appear to do very well in this species mix as they tend to get clumpy during the summer and the color differences are very apparent between the dark green Kentucky bluegrass and the lighter green Bermuda. There are a number of experimental varieties in this trial that look very good, but time will tell if they will make it to the market or not. The two most commonly used grasses for Blue Muda are 365SS and HGT and both have performed very well in this trial. One of the benefits of using 365SS is that the blend is consistent. What's in the bag this year will be the same next year. This means any future seeding will match up perfectly. Other Mountain View bluegrasses entered in this trial include the individual components of 365SS, Bolt, Legend, and Volt, and all have done fairly well. Blue Note has also performed well. However, the other Mountain View bluegrass entered in this trial is an experimental and it is one of the bluegrasses that will not be recommended for use in Blue Muda. An interesting thing about this trial is this is the first time tall fescues have been looked at interseeded into Bermuda grass. Initially, I thought this was a bad idea as the mowing height was going to be three quarters of an inch, and I thought there was no way that tall fescues would persist at this low height through the heat of the Kentucky summer. It turns out that I was right and wrong on this assumption as there were tall fescues that didn't perform very well, but both Titanium 2LS and Raptor 3 from Mountain View have done very well. We are continuing to explore tall fescues in Bermuda grass, which we are calling Frumuda, as tall fescue as a whole has better summer stress tolerance compared to Kentucky bluegrass and may make this an option for more southern locations. In general, coming from independent research, I'm happy with how the Mountain View varieties have performed and think there is real promise with tall fescues. 365SS has done well in testing and turf managers are having a lot of success using it in the field.